Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing what should really be like a prequel video because by now you should already have seen my introduction to my beautiful fur babies. Um, so this is just what I picked up prior to getting the babies. Um, so I'll just jump right in. The first place that I went to was Pound World and I picked up two fleece pet blankets a black and a blue one um i've seen a lot of videos on youtube of people using fleece rather than buying um like bedding for them and then you could just wash them and reuse them until you know that they're knackered so for a pound each you can't go wrong with that then these two things are a bit questionable I don't know whether or not I'm actually going to use them, whether they're going to be suitable, but I'm just going to try and see because they're quite heavy, so I'm hoping they won't get tipped over. They're just these little um, stoneware baking dishes, and I was just thinking that I could um, use them every now and again for putting maybe water in, um, and maybe, you know, frozen peas or something, or just swapping it about and putting treats in sometimes I don't know don't know whether it's gonna work but I just thought I'd pick them up and for a pound if they're not suitable I don't really care so that's that then picked up this um, pimpled ball dog tug and it's just a ball on a string but it's got a hole in the bottom so I thought I could hang it up and put treats in there or maybe bits of paper that they can pull out and put in their bed so we'll just see just see play around with it and see see what happens and then I got this I don't know whether I'm gonna use this at all it's just like a big rope doodah with a ball on the end so I don't know if they'd be able to climb on that or whatnot but I just thought give it a go play around once again it's all new to me this it's all new <laughs> and then the last thing oh no it's the second to last thing that i got from pound world are these two storage baskets because i've seen people using uh, cable ties to either just put them on as is and fill them up but i also saw people putting one on top of the other so it makes a bigger nest area and then cutting a hole in it and cable tying it to the the cage so again just see what works best and what what the baby is like the best and then the last thing that i got from pound world is just these yogurt coated raisins um i've read that you can give them yogurt coated raisins so i'm just gonna try them for um treats see whether they like them Next place I went to was Pound Land, and the first thing I picked up was this Mini Mates wooden bridge. So it's just one of those bendable bridge bridges. I can't do it while it's in plastic, but yeah. Or you can use it, you know, to you know what I mean. Then I got I saw somebody recommend getting like these cat things. It's like when they're out in the boat and you can just like get them to chase it and stuff so yeah just thought what else then I also picked up these tiny paws it's got a rope and two balls probably just lash the balls because I don't know whether they're safe or not I don't know um, but I just wanted the little rope parts really for them and then the last thing I got from Poundland was Oh, these six cat toys. Um, I don't think this cushion thing that's got a bell on it has got um, catnip in it, but once I take it out of the packet, I'm going to check. It doesn't say anywhere on the packaging that it's got catnip in it, so I'm hoping that it doesn't. Um, so I just thought, especially this ball here, would be perfect for them. And then the last place that I went to was Wilkinson's. Um, obviously a bit more expensive than the pound shops but 
the best place that I, went, I actually went to for, for stuff. So the first thing that I picked up is this cat play tunnel. And I was just thinking I could either um, try and secure it to the cage, like hanging up, or just have it out when they're, they're out playing. Because um, it's nice and fleecy inside, and then it's got like this little dangly, dangly doodah on it. Also picked up a large water bottle. Um, I'm hoping that the balls aren't too heavy for them. Um, so just keep an eye on that and make sure they can actually drink out of it. You should be able to. Then I also got this bed cup, a coop cup, um, just to put further up on the bars in the cage and put treats in um, so they've got to work for those treats. And also picked up this um, Mason Cash Pep Bowl, um, supports the RSPCA, Cap Bowl, Pep Bowl, did I say Cap Bowl? Pep Bowl. Um, yeah, just a little one, just to see how we go with that. I do have bigger ones than this, but I just wanted to try it with the little one for now. And then I picked up this hula rope chew. So it's just the loofah thingies. It's quite pretty. And then this thing is for a parrot, but obviously, you know, the rat babies can play with that and chew on that and Lying on that and yeah I love that it's so colourful and then I got a chew 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 tube so it's just a piece of cardboard tube hello and I can chew on it and then finally I picked these up and I don't know whether or not I don't always have them uh, they're going to be any good because they can't really pick them up uh, they're just cat balls, like three little cat balls with the jingle jangles in. I may just throw them in the cage just for them to, to knock around, I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's that for this haul. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. Bye!